Alright, so I've had a look at the uh, sound level, and I might just turn it down a little. See how that goes later. So let's get into it, shall we? Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Cool, cool. Uh, I'll just make a new ID. Why not? Why not? As said, do female. I'll just call it Shadow Shepherd. Because how my name, well, my YouTube name is Shadow Fire Knight, so why not make it Shadow Shepherd? Or Shadow of Shepherd. Huh. Let's see what that looks like. Please log in to access your profile. Ask. Oops. Oh well. Too late to change it now. Eh, who cares? Shadow of Shepherd. Uh, it doesn't sound that good now, does it? Damn it! Oh well, I'll fix it in a minute. If only I could go back and fix it. Oh well. But there's apparently a lot of data corruption, so I'd, I'd like to go back and fix it. Alright, let's try that again. Let's just go with Shadow Shepherd. That'll do. Who cares? It's a name no one will ever really hear in the game. They'll only see it when I load up the game, so who really cares? They're attempting to send the data again. Will it still be corrupted? Verifying username, verifying user data. Up. Oh, corruption again. Alright, reconstruction of the profile. I think it was colonist, wasn't it? Uh, yes, let's go with Colonist. And then it was Solo Survivor. During your mission, they went horribly wrong, trapped in extremely survival. You overcome physical torments and physical stress that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell. You are now alone. You are now alone. You are... N now you are alone. Now you are... Now you alone are left to tell the tale. Fuck, I screwed that up so bad right there. Through your military view, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation as ruthless efficient makes your fellow soldiers weary of you, make but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna be ruthless just because I want to be ruthless. And the person said Sentinel Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can use they can also disrupt opponents with biotics or tech attacks. They are more effective at tech and biotics than other classes, but uh, but the exp at the bleh, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only use light armor and see receive no advanced weapon training. Sad. We can only use a pistol. Right. However, I can get these the bonus talents that I've gotten from 100%ing the game. Which, yeah, 100%. Every achievement gotten. That includes DLC achievements. So, what... What bonus thing shall I throw in? Let's see. Uh... Huh, whoops. Shit. Knocking around the mic a little there. I think I shall go with... Huh. Well, assault rifles are always a good thing to have. A lot better than a pistol, by far. Uh, warp, singularity... Uh, let's... <sighs> right, let's just go with assault rifles. Confirm facial identification. Change up the facial. Let's see, need a good preset to start from. Man, most of them look pretty bad. Alright, let's just go with that one. We'll build it up from there. So, let's see. Can we get a good looking face, I wonder? Uh, complexion. Let's go with this. Scars. I just went across the lip, I guess. Head. Reduce that neck thickness, I think, a little. Now, what the hell does face size change? Eh, 
That looks good. Good enough. Uh, it's so hard to get the damn cheeks right. They always look messed up because they stick out so far. Oh, that looks better. There's no point in doing the ears, they're hidden behind hair. Eyes. Eye shape. Let's see if we can get a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that one will do. Eye height. Yeah. Let's stick it about the middle. Width. Depth. Eyes so far into the back of her head. Stick it in the middle. Brow height. Ah, that'll do. Height. Oh, that was depth, not height. That'll do. Let's see, what color eyes? Well, she's half tech, half biotic, so... Well, let's just stick with the nice looking green. Jaw. Chin height. How high shall the chin be? Ah, that'll do. Who cares? Depth. Ah, s screw that. Width. Barely makes a difference, so I'll stick it in the middle. Ah, that'll do as well. Mouth. Eh, it'll do as well. It's all good there. Nose. Can I get a better looking nose, I wonder? Well, we have to back that up. Perhaps a normal looking nose? That'll do. Hair. Hair color. Let's go with... You gotta love the redheads. Plain and simple. Alright, let's go, let's stick with that one. Yeah, that one too. Alright. Any point in this, I wonder? Eh, we'll do that. Eh, might as well leave it on default. There we go. That'll do. Alright, let's actually move on to some actual things happening. Yeah, that's good. Let's move on. Difficulty, veteran. Yeah, we like a bit of a challenge. Subtitles, yes. Always gotta have the subtitles. Who cares about target assist? Ah, fuck it. Leave it on. Yay! We're getting into the actual game now. Yay! Damn right. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can. Damn right, Anderson. Damn right. I'll make the call. I ain't gonna even bother. Kutra could barely read all that. So if you guys want to read it, I guess you guys can pause it a little. Read through it as you want. There's two more of these to read. In other words, two more games. But I guess you guys already knew that. Yeah, Mass Effect, yeah, let's kick some ass. But first, nice bit of music. Might just turn that sound back up a bit more. But I don't understand, if we ain't got the training to use those weapons, why do we have them all? Seems kind of pointless. Kind of pointless, you know. We are connected. Calculating trans mass and destination. At least the sound don't cut out in like the other game I was just recording. All stations secure for trans.
Whee! Boom! And we are out of here. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So Yes, perfect logic. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pin. Shepard so is not incredible. amused. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye. Damn it! I almost forgot I had to. Yeah, that is the not official try story. to skip everything again. Only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers. Act Damn right. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Uh -huh. Tell Poor Joker. Tell Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you. Ha. Huh. All right, let's see what I got. Decryption. Increases shields. Hull. Electronics to repair. Hull bypass, good. Sabotage. Encryption, good. Need both those. They'll come in handy. Whoa! My red's already pretty fucking high up. I don't remember it going up that fast. Or being that high up that fast. Alright. Barriers and stasis. First aid. Decryption. Barrier. Throw. Ah, eh, screw it. Everything goes into Intimidate. I'll put some points in elsewhere later. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down Yeah, I the might be quiet a lot trouble. during the talking parts. I admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre? A I don't spectre. think him being Turian has anything to do with it. It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location. Man, I wish I'd skip through all this. The Normandy's the only ship At least you guys can skip through that. If you want to, though, it's your decision. Or you can listen to everything that's had to be said. Apart from the parts that I talk Plus over. The shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated uh, special come forces on. officers in the service. <laughs> Talk faster. He down all his metals. He could make a life-size Because this is going to make me regret talking to everyone. Don't send a soldier like that on a Bad shit's got to happen. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer. Not to show how long I record. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. 
Silas looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. <sighs> yeah, 24 XP, yay! What are these two on about? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. He just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission. Uh, the like waiting will do more than kill you. Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Hey, he'll, he'll never get the chance to screw it up. That's the problem. Are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet Man, I wish this thing would give me better detail. Than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know right. about Spectre? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel. Council. I like how the music's still going in the background. Small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre <laughs> justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city Eden noise Prime sure does get screwed over a lot, though. On the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger. Oh, so you think? There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. All right, so I think that's everyone that you can actually talk to, to begin with, anyway. So let's. Oh, hold on a minute. Huh. How about that? Never noticed that, that they have those kind of visors straight <laughs> so far into the game. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't do it. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I can't do it yet. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here Hey look, first. he's got green eyes too. A chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. Damn right. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous Well, that's pretty place. obvious, but still. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Ready for what, exactly? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown. Well, that's run. pretty damn obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. 
I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans. Well, that's pretty obvious. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far... I still don't see the point in what you're saying. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business. But you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Well, I don't really want to say that bottom one. I just seems a bit stupid. For myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to a Oh, launch. God. What do you know about the Not much of an intro. Just, just a whole us. shitload of talking. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. A lot Nobody of talking really done by them and not by me. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. To forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes... <sighs> growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. That's not all it'll be known for. Why is beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Well, damn, why are we still talking here? Is to get dragged into a All right. Conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this what the hell? Let's get going, then. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. <sighs> Bring it up on screen. Come on. Get down! A lot of shit happening. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. They came out of nowhere. We need Well, he's dead. Everything cuts out after that. No comms. 
traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Well, we all know what that is, but they don't. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Huh, more Small than a lot. Team can move more like a shitload more complicated. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Gauging stealth systems. Mm, here, more than serious. Your team's Finally, we get to do something! Commander. Yay! Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. It's like, first, we don't trust him. He's like, oh, yeah, we got his back then. Pretty weird right there, ain't it? We can fall from that height and live? Holy shit. Oh, wait, we don't even get to see the falling. Yeah, oh wait, it's them. No one's got electronics. That's not good. Hey, who cares about him? He's gonna die anyway. Yeah, helmet. 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 Fuck the helmets. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. I don't know what are the damn buttons for this. So hard to remember most of them. Alright. Uh, I'll probably want it on that one actually. Come on, let's get this stuff going already. I wanna shoot something. So far, nothing's happening. Oh no! Geth drones! Jenkins, no! Ah, no. And he's gone. God damn it. They didn't want to do that. Whee! Take the push. Alright, where's the idiot's body? And he is out of hell. Right through his shields. You're out of chance. Leave him. We need to finish the Damn mission. right. Aye, aye, man. Charge! Oh, wait, I got a level, didn't I? Let's see where to put it. Uh. Oh, it's all pistol stuff. Sad. Perhaps I should have stuck with pistol then. Damn. Ah, oh, great. I get marksman from that. What a bitch, I didn't know that part. Normally there's an extra s pistol slot, but apparently Sentinel gives me all pistol stuff anyway. What a bitch. If only I'd known. Oh well, who cares. Right, let's put some points in here. Get that first aid up. And we'll go with decryption so we can get some electronics. Bump my shields up and whatnot. Alright. You gotta manually crouch down in this one. I don't think I can jump cover either. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. 
Quick, hit the tree! Get to cover! Hey, get out of here, this is my cover! Damn it, Caden! This is my cover! Get your own! Take that! Ah! Why am I not in cover? Ah, damn it. Alright. Everything dies easy so far. Despite the fact that we're still playing on veteran, you gotta remember. Everything is still dying relatively easy. However, we are only fighting drones. And there go the drones. Hey look! Actual Geth! Dragon's teeth, or so they're called. All right, let's kick some ass. Charge! Yeah! All right, they're down. Who's next? Ah, there she is. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communication. Damn. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Lieutenant Elenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance. All right, since you walk so she nicely. The area, Commander, and we could use the extra firepower. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders, and I'll follow them. What else do you know about the Geth? Uh, here comes Guess more bloody talking in the middle of a battlefield. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. And well, that's that, just the half just of it. kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. All right, let's get back to killing shit. Move out. But first, we got to do some looting. Yay, loot! Uh, no, I always forget to do these guys. Oh, hold on, don't want to do that. Throw it into him. Uh, shh. throw it in there. Throw it there. Pull back. Equipment. Yeah, yeah, I get the idea. I'm a piss. Take that. Empty. New armor. 
All right, let's move on. Charge! All right, so where are the Geth? I don't see any of them. Up oh, there they are. Ah, let me get into cover, you stupid crap. All right. Next. Quick sabotage. And finish him off. Nope, oh, there's still one more though. Ah, what a waste of a quick use button. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Clearly. By who? Must Our have been moved. Yes. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right then. Up, oh, saving apparently. Uh, there'll be a lot of saving. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. What's in this one? Shotgun pistol. Uh, there's never a damn assault rifle. Should probably make an actual save at this point. Oh my god, we've been going for 30 minutes already. Holy shit. I bet all those minutes were probably more talking than anything else. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Ah, the first sighting of a husk. Not exactly. What did the Geth do to this? Not the Geth. Throw a good, uh, good old throw in there. I can't target them yet. That's good. Uh, best to throw in one of them. Oh wait, I missed. You're supposed to target him, you stupid thing. Uh, best to throw in another one of those. Come on! Die, you stupid husk. There we go. Ah, didn't even get to shoot him again. Alright, any loot around? I swear I remember there being loot around here. Though it might be in this building. Ah, here we go. Some stuff, some omni gel, and a grenade. Door. It sucks to always open. I always create a save in front of these damn doors because they suck to open. See if I can. Fuck. Don't worry, you'll see a lot of this in these videos. Although I should probably just cut them out. You know, stop recording, start recording when I've opened it and shit. <sighs> this is gonna be a while. Because opening these things bloody suck. Especially when you don't do it for a long amount of time. And you have to get used to doing it fucking again. Alright, I'll be right back once I've actually opened the door. Alright, so it only took me another two more tries. These things are always bloody annoying. Because <sighs> you gotta get used to doing it again. It sucks. You end up in this shed. We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only that dude certainly lost his head. Name. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. It's amazing how we accurate that guy is without even Gunfire, knowing it. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. 
We haven't seen you, Tyrion. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technology. <sighs> Goddamn talking is too much. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Oh, I'm gonna hear <laughs> shit. I just realized something. Awaken the beast! Unleash the darkness! Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Whack. That's gotta hurt. Oh my god! What did you do? I whacked him one. That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy. Damn right. Dangerous. Tell it like it is, Shepard. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. We don't need luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, idiot. Yeah, when we get to the Citadel, there's a. Uh, it's probably gonna be like three, four episodes of nothing but talking and running around doing nothing, so. Yeah. Saren? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Mm, it gets worse. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Bang. And there goes one Spectre. That just looks cool. Alright, let's get back to killing. Well, that can't be good. Too little too late that I realized there were Geth sneaking up on us. Only this assault rifle had better accuracy. Damn husks. Bye bye. Ah, oh, but he still got it off. Alright, that should be all of them. Just gotta open another goddamn door. So I will be right back once I open this door. Unless I can do it in the first shot. Otherwise, let me just quickly save it. Let's see if I can open the door. Yay, I got it the first go. I almost screwed it up too. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we Damn know. Damn right. Are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should. Ah, I was hit. coming in anyway. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Well, the three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest. Probably of the gone. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean? That Nathan chick is loud. We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. 
Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Wait After for it. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your <laughs> merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh, huh. No, uh, wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not <laughs> a snitch. So much renegade. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. <laughs> That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in. Okay. okay? I have to go. Good luck. All right. Hey, more intimidate. Uh, more electronics. Oh, decryption so I can get electronics. Uh, you could have more sniper assault rifle. You throw one there. Eh, what the hell, I'll throw one there. Equipment. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, thought I got a grenade mod out of it. Alright, pistols. Totally crap. Shotgun, assault rifle, total crap. Ah, here we go. That's kind of what I was waiting for. Damn it. What did he give me again? Combat sensor. Stick with the piercing. Alright, let's see what's in their shed. Maybe there's more. Yeah, ah, oh, fuck. Bastards. Could have had some good stuff. Goddamn electronics. Always screwy. Never gives you the good stuff, does it? Probably save it again. Just in case. Although, once I deal with this area over here, I'll probably stop here. Hammerhead and armor piercing. Alright. Let's deal with this. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? Moved. It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. There's that damn mothership show. <laughs> mothership. Did the attack? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No. I mean, 
What does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip it off? Easy, girlie. I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't need to know anymore. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Hi, explosives, yeah! Alright, let's kill the guys down here. Oh, more like over here. Ah, yeah, sure, he dies as I do it. Yeah. Alright, when I can save it again, I'll stop there. So let's do some killing for... Finally get some damn killing done. Well, I have no idea what happened there, but okay. That dude, however, is charging in like a maniac, so... Let's just try and get rid of him. Charge! Oh shit. Get to cover. Shoot the explosive. God damn it. That explosive was mine. Huh. Oh right, first aid's why. I'm so used to it being on the action bar. Yay, level. Damn it, need to get closer. Alright. Let's see, uh, throw that in. And then I'll throw that in. It's one down. Move up. Next. And he is out of here. Alright, that should be all of them. Alright, so I think I'll stop here at the uh, train controls. Unless I got a level. Yep, got a level. Let's see. The electronics. I wonder. That'd probably be stupid, but... Nah. Uh, Best to grab a barrier. All right, I'm uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check something. All right, so I pretty much came all the way back to see if I can open this. So I'm just gonna save it one more time. And here we go. Yay! Um, I also kind of noticed that the audio is a little out of sync for one of the videos when I stopped and started like, and it's like that from the very beginning so I have no idea why it's like that so I'm gonna have to look into it unless it's like that again in this one so what was the stuff I just got? ah great always just crap Alright, so yeah, this is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, pretty much gone back and got some extra stuff. Now I'm running all the way back, so... I will see how these videos go when I finish with them. Hopefully not all of them are out of sync like that, the last one. So yeah, I will see you guys when I record Mass Effect again and whenever and 
tomorrow when I record some more stuff, so I will see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>